This is the second lesson on modular arithmetic. So last lesson we looked at what modul modular arithmetic is and two different methods for using it. So today we're going to apply it and we're going to apply it to something called the Fibonacci numbers. So the Fibonacci numbers make a sequence and they've got a special rule. So I'm going to show you what that is. So in the Fibonacci sequence, the first two numbers that we start with are 0 and 1. So now, the rule to get the next number is to add the previous two numbers together. So in this case, we've got a 0 and a 1. We're going to add those numbers together. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. So that's the next number in the sequence. So now to get the next number, we do the same again. We add the previous two. So this time, we're adding 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 makes 2. So 2 is the next number in our sequence. So now to get the next one, we need to add 1 and 2. 1 and 2 make 3. So 3 is the next number in our sequence. So to get the next number, we need to add 2 and 3. 2 and 3 make 5. So 5 is the next number in our sequence. So if we carry this on to get the next number, we need to do 3 plus 5 to give us 8. And now we do 5 plus 8 to give us 13. 8 plus 13 to give us 21. So the rule is to add the previous two numbers. So I'd like you to now to pause the video and see if you can write the next four numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. So remember, add the previous two to get the next one. So pause the video now and have a go at doing that. Cool. So let's have a look at the next four numbers then. So to get the next one, we do 13 plus 21 to get 34, 21 plus 34 to get 55, 34 plus 55 to get 89, and 55 plus 89 to get 144. So you can keep doing this and this sequence will actually go on forever and ever because we can always keep adding the previous two numbers. So now that we've looked at the Fibonacci numbers, we're going to see what happens when we do some modular arithmetic with the Fibonacci numbers. So we're going to do a bit of an investigation on that. So all of this is explained on the worksheet, but I'm going to go through and do an example to start with so you know exactly what you need to do. So we're going to take the Fibonacci numbers, the ones that we've just worked out, and we're going to put them in a column in our table. So I've just done 0 to 21, but you can make your table bigger. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pick some numbers. So to start with, I've picked 2 and 3. And we're going to do the Fibonacci numbers modulo these numbers. So you can remember there's two ways to do that. We can use the clock method or we can use the division method. So if you're not quite sure about how to do that, you can go back to the first video and get a recap. So the first thing we're going to do is fill in some numbers in this table. So I'm just going to do a few examples. So for example, if we're looking at 2, sorry, 3 <laughs> modulo 2, so I'm going to use a division method. So that means we're looking for the remainder when we divide 3 by 2. So that remainder there is going to be 1. So let's do another example. 21 modulo 2, we're looking for the remainder when we divide 21 by 2. So that remainder there is also going to be 1. So let's look at 1 modulo 3. Let's try 5 modulo 3. So again, we're going to look for the remainder when we divide by 3. So that remainder it's going to be 2. So 5 modulo 3 is 2. So you're going to have a go at doing this 
and then you're going to see if you can find some patterns and answer some more questions about this. So it's going to be quite fun and interesting. So the worksheet will be on Google Classroom and just work through that. So have fun.